Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. And they just start dropping like flies when you can do so much damage, keep everybody at bay. So I like that fact. And then it's also combined with the Renekton and the Elise top set. However, Jarvan, this is going to be a little bit tough, but they're going. Okay, here comes the stun. Immediate teleport in from Lava. But look at that first damage coming out. That it will be the first blood. Does go over to the Elise. And MT will finally get that kill. Is minimal. And he gets to set himself up for the dive that we saw into the top set where he was there first. Even Lava. Oh boy, he's gonna get double hit and the Ignite should tick down. Lava man, just not respecting that Lucian as Great we thought. Moves. They are gonna be trading towers though. Junior might try to defend this. Oh, the TP. Oh, they are committing to this hardcore, but the big glacial fissure, and look at that damage, the Void Rush coming out here, but Soan, he's getting so low, they can't quite take him out though. In comes Soan, trying to join the fight, will be able to take out Key. Meanwhile, it's Teddy versus the world, will pick off one. Soan trying to get out of this, but uh-oh, it's totally turning in Jyn Air's favor now, as Kuzan enters the fight. Shy gonna get stunned up there as he goes for the flag and drag. Doesn't look like they want- Soflar will block the Q. He did the Chain of Corruption. They want to take out this jungler. He's extremely low, but he does flash away. Good engage here from Shy, but he runs into the Unbreakable. Can't make it through, and he will go down to Guzan in the end of it all with assists from everybody on the side of Jyn Air. So they because get there is a lot of stuns, right? You've got Braum, you've got Elise, and wait a minute. Okay, Snowflower immediately puts up that Unbreakable. Look at how tanky he is. They can't do any damage to him. It looks like he might go down in the end, but they're certainly going to trade kills. Lava is going to eat it as well. Down go two members of the Rox Tigers. That should be a pretty nice Baron. We'll see if they immediately go for it. Was, but it's just one damage spell. She doesn't have anything to actually kill anybody. Felt like she wasn't there. Yeah, she's going with the art in center now. So there, there's just no looking back for Rock Now Tigers she's not here. there. They have gone with it. <laughs> Although bots don't say that, so I like bots better. Either way, we still have this push going on. Finally, it looks like they want to group up as five and go for this. And a big pick. That's all the pick of Jyn Air that you're going to get. And make that two. Can we get a three for all? Let's see if we can. A, a nice charm there on the back side, but not enough. And Key's going to get locked down too. Oh, the burst damage onto that guy. Kuzan is just going <laughs> to rock this team. Oh, they got him. They actually did get him. So the ace comes through. Jyn Air is going to take one of the most one-sided games we've had in a while. And that will be game number one, going over to Jyn Air over the Rock Staggers. Easy peasy for Jin Hair. They barely struggled in this one. They had full control and never let go. So the result was just as expected. And two kills and one dragon away from a perfect game. Great macro is what has defined this team. Great understanding of compositions and how to utilize their spikes. They do so once more.